YouTube is a place for entrepreneurs, for people that want to bring value to the world, but also those entrepreneurs do want to become monetized. They want to make money from this. They want to be their own boss. What does it take to become monetized on YouTube? So stick around because I'm going to give you my update on how to become monetized on YouTube and my first one month journey on YouTube on my road to monetization. For those of you that have watched my other videos, you know I go out into the fields. Today, I'm in Milnes Bridge, Huddersfield, West Yorkshire. I usually take myself to very unpopulated areas so I do not get seen recording. As an introvert, it's quite awkward for me to be seen recording. Today, I'm in Milnes Bridge. The guarantee that I'm going to be seen recording is very, very high. There's a gentleman just over here. A lady just walked past a moment ago as I, as I was setting up. There's someone there as well. So there's a lot of people today seeing me record and I'm just going into it. I'm throwing myself into the deep end today. My update on YouTube for my studies from week three to week four, what have I learned? So I've learned a lot. Again, I'm going through the lessons that are taught to me by the VidIQ app. I have made changes to my channel. I have updated the banner at the top of the screen to add a money background. Through the lessons on VidIQ, it was teaching me that I need to create a message within the image that I'm putting on my banner. Previously, it was just a nice cool lake with a bit of trees in the background and that did not explain what my channel was about. So that needed to change. I needed people to understand in the eye test what my channel was about. So I changed the background on my banner to have a money background, which explains that I talk about money. And that's what my channel is about. Financial freedom, financial independence and retiring early. I've also put a trailer on the channel for anyone that is not subscribed. There is a trailer on the channel. It's a one minute trailer to explain what my channel is about. My promise to my viewers that I will create content twice a week. These are the changes that I made to the actual branding of my channel. What have I done to study for YouTube? I've learned a lot this week. And the great thing is now I have a lot of videos on my channel. So when I actually learn something new, I can implement it straight away. I wanted that to be the case if I just learned something new and I had one video that I could practice that new bit of knowledge on that video, it wouldn't be enough to embed it in my brain. So there's a few things that I've learned this week. I've learned to make my thumbnails more curious, to spark curiosity in the eye test. At first, I knew my thumbnails needed to be bright and contrasting and catch the eye through color, which was not a problem for me at first. I thought actually I was pretty good at doing that. But when it came to sparking curiosity within the words of the thumbnail, that one was a challenging one for me. I did not know how to do that. I wasn't quite sure. So what I'm doing now is I'm still creating the thumbnails. When I upload a video, I go onto the vidIQ app. I click generate a new thumbnail for this video. I do not copy and paste that thumbnail. I use that AI generated thumbnail as an example. Example. I'm looking at the words in that thumbnail that spark the curiosity. I don't think I've got that gift in my brain to spark curiosity in people. So I use AI to help me out in that case. As entrepreneurs, we try to do everything, but we are not great at doing everything. We kind of suck at some things and we are good at some things, but those things that we suck at, we've got to work on and got to and we have to get better. So I'm using AI, I'm using AI to tell me words to put in my thumbnails that will make people more curious and spark curiosity. Same goes for the title of my video. Again, I do not know how to spark curiosity in people. I use ChatGPT and I have a template that says in that template, give me some examples for a title of this video and I give the title that I currently have, but I want the examples to spark curiosity in people. But for example, there's a video coming up on Bitcoin and the question in the title is, is Bitcoin doomed? Quick question, I'm not implying that it is or it is not. Is Bitcoin doomed? Question mark. And then my price prediction on Bitcoin. So if you're interested in that video, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. That's actually coming out in just a couple of days. So if you want to be the first to see it, hit like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you can be the first to see that video on is Bitcoin doomed and my price prediction on Bitcoin as a financial advisor. So once I learned that I needed to put curiosity in my thumbnails, in my titles, I reviewed all of my videos and changed all the titles to spark curiosity and the thumbnails and the, just the wording in the thumbnails to spark curiosity in the viewers. I believe now that my thumbnails are sparking more curiosity in viewers on YouTube. So hopefully that's something that's going to help down the line. It's going to spark curiosity in people scrolling through YouTube. I said last week that I'm going to look at the key words on vidIQ. I'm going to use those as examples of what kind of videos that you want to see on YouTube. These videos that I've been creating using the keyword search have not kicked in yet. 
the previous videos from today, before today, are still all videos that I chose to do off of my own back that I thought might be interesting, but actually in some cases, they, I was wrong on some cases, but I accept that you gotta throw enough uh, stuff at the wall to see what sticks. But now I'm using the keyword search. So as of the next video after this one is the first video on Bitcoin that has been influenced by the keyword search on vidIQ. I do think my studies on the keyword search on vidIQ were a bit naive at first. So what I did at first was load up vidIQ on the internet, I have a list of videos, a huge list of videos that I want to create and I rank them. I put the titles of those videos. I mean, the list was massive. I put the title of those videos into vidIQ and vidIQ would tell me and give me a score out of 100 to tell me which one has high demand, low demand and high supply, low supply and give me a score and ranking on which would have the higher likelihood of being successful on YouTube. So last week's video recording was all about ranking those videos and I picked my top three videos from that list on those rankings and they've been filmed, they're in the editing stage and they're coming out soon. So I'm very interested to see how those pan out. I do think I was a bit naive by just picking my own videos. VidIQ is so sophisticated, it knows my channel now and is now giving me advice on what videos to create. And you can say yes, no, you can put tick or a cross next to it, say not interested, don't wanna make something about that. Or yes, that is right up my alley, well within my niche and something I think my viewers would want to see. And and vidIQ says, I predict that this type of video with this title will perform well. So I haven't even gone into the vidIQ suggestions yet. I've only ranked my own videos and picked my top three videos from those rankings and they'll be posted over the next few weeks. But after that, my next round of videos that I'm going to film based off the vidIQ suggestions and see how that pans out. Now I can see from vidIQ when I'm uploading those videos and putting the tags in the videos to say, to describe what the video is about, vidIQ, because it is implemented into YouTube, it ranks those tags as well. It's super useful. You put the keyword tags in there and it will put a number score out of 100 of how good that tag is. It will score it of how likely it is are people searching for it? Is there high demand and is there high supply of that particular thumbnail topic? So it's really good. With this next video on Bitcoin that's coming out at the end of the week, the thumbnail tags are the highest possible score of any videos that I've ever published on YouTube so far. So that is a promising sign. I really do hope that this one's going to kick off. What I often find as well is my video editing skills is far better than what you're seeing at the moment. If you're watching a video that has just come out, my editing skills are far better than that because I'm actually a few weeks ahead of that. So the video, when I published it itself, I said to myself, that is some good editing. I'm very proud of myself at that time when I hit schedule on the video. But when the video actually comes out, I've improved so much in that one or two weeks before it comes out that when I come to watch the video, I'm like, it's not, it's not actually that good, but I need to be realistic, see it with hindsight and foresight that actually I am progressing. So the next video that I've actually just published that's coming out on Bitcoin, I've actually fast-tracked that video because I want to see how it performs. So that video is actually a true representation of my video editing skills at the moment. So I'm very intrigued how that one's gonna perform. I'm actually quite excited to watch the video myself. When I watch these videos, it's strange. When I watch other people on YouTube, I start to, my eyes open up and I, and I sit and watch with anticipation and I look forward to what's going to happen next. I actually do the same when watching my own videos back. It's kind of crazy why I do that. It's, it's such a strange thing. I know what I'm going to say. I've already said it. I filmed it. I've edited it. I've watched it about 10, 15 times already, but I'm still on the edge of my seat going, oh, what next? What's going to happen next? What's going to say? I think it's the motivational kind of music I put in the background that really gets me like drawn into those videos. I've had some great comments this week. When I posted my the advert for my channel, I actually got a message from a gentleman that was messaged on almost all of my videos. And I think this is from Australia. What a legend. Message on all my video keeps giving me a lot of confidence every single time I see those messages. I paraphrase, but he said something like, I'm watching you all the way. I'm watching you make your way to the top. So I get so much confident when I get comments like that. It's absolutely beautiful. Crazy to think one month in, I still have not had a hater. Still not yet, which is absolutely crazy to me. I thought they were going to come straight out of the woodwork straight away and tell me, just absolutely ridicule me, they troll me to death. But no, I've had absolutely amazing comments from people all over the place. I had a colleague yesterday 
a colleague of mine, lovely, lovely person. I know he's clicked the notification bell. He clicked it right in front of my face. I didn't even ask him to do it, but he clicked it anyway. And he watches all of my videos as well. And he actually said to me yesterday that I actually inspired him to start as well. And he wanted my help. He asked for my tips on how to edit, what software I edit, how to create the videos, how to put the B-rolls in the videos. He's asked me a lot of questions like this. So I have told him all this and I volunteered and said, I will help you. If you want to sit down and have an editing session, we can do it together. Let's go. I'm here to help you as well. So it's really crazy to me that people are watching it and I've actually inspired someone to do YouTube as well. That is absolutely crazy. And it makes me so, so happy that that is the case. It's crazy when people message me from all over the world as well like the gentleman from Australia. I'm looking forward to your videos coming out as well. You mentioned that they're coming out on traveling around the world. And I really look forward to those videos as well. So I'm going to give them a watch as soon as they come out. I've got my notification bell on for your channel. So I look forward to those. But the comments that I get are absolutely amazing. No bad comments yet. Only good comments so far. A lot of positivity. A lot of people saying you've got this. You've got what it takes to be successful on YouTube, which is absolutely amazing because I'm working so, so hard. I'm putting in those hours that I promised. I said I will work three hours a week on studying how to do YouTube, not recording, not editing, none of that on just studying YouTube. And I'm actually doing a lot more of that. This week as well, I've managed my videos as well. I have scheduled my videos to come out on a certain routine now. So I've now created a schedule for my channel. I'm releasing a video at the start of the week to do this update on my road to monetization on YouTube. And I'm also releasing a video every Thursday. The videos that I've created and that are scheduled to be published, today is now the 6th of August. The videos that I scheduled to come out on my channel go to the start of September. So I'm really ahead of the game here, which takes a lot of pressure off. Previously, before I created the schedule of two videos a week, I was doing about three videos a week. And there was quite a lot of pressure to quickly get those videos edited and get them out there and published. And that was creating quite a bit of pressure, which I didn't really need. So now dropping it down to two videos a week and being one month ahead of schedule is hugely beneficial for me. A massive weight off of my shoulders. And it will also allow me to put more time and effort into my videos, more time and effort, more research better editing, all of this will come in my videos and they'll be better for you, the viewers, to watch these types of videos. I've been catching a lot of people's eyes today. There's like a path in front of me that walks across and a lot of people are giving me a little side glance today on my recording on this uh, this video. So again, I'm getting more and more comfortable. Remember the first video I did where those two people and that dog tried to attack me? Not really, but he barked a little bit. That first video and I absolutely froze in front of people. I'm doing micro freezes in front of people that walk past in front of me today. Give me a little side eye. I'm gonna walk out here where I'm definitely gonna be seen by someone recording this video before I end this video and take us to the home office. So again, I'm gonna give you a final view. This is Huddersfield Mills Bridge. This is the canal in Mills Bridge. Such a beautiful place. My mother just lives around here. I'm not gonna point actually at her house because that was data protection. So I'm not gonna do that. But this is such a beautiful place. Loads of ducks always around here. It's absolutely lovely. Absolutely beautiful place in Huddersfield, Milnes Bridge. So this is my video on my one month update on my YouTube road to monetization. I do not know the stats yet of this month, but I'm going to take you home. We're going to go into the home office. We're going to look at the stats, the analytics on the road to monetization on YouTube. Back in the home office now, and we can now look at the analytics over the last week on my journey and my road to monetization on YouTube. So this week we have gained two new subscribers. The math isn't mathing here because actually we've got three compared to last week. The math on this YouTube analytics is always contradicting. So it's all an approximate. So we had two slash three new subscribers this week. And the total number of subscribers we have right now as of filming is 118 subscribers. The total watch time over the last seven days is 16.8 hours. And the total number of views is 1,600 views over the last seven days, which again is huge. That is massive. The subscribers have gone down. We've lost a lot of momentum on the subscribers, but that's absolutely fine. I am not bothered about that at the moment. The reason I'm not bothered about that at the moment is because my knowledge about YouTube, about creating videos is far ahead of the videos that are released. So the last video that was released, it was about how to be lucky. 
that the original idea of posting that video was way at the very beginning, a month ago when I first started YouTube. It was a very inexperienced version of me that had the idea of creating, filming and editing that video. So as of today, the 6th of August, 2024, as of today, you probably won't see my skills and experience on YouTube for a few weeks. But in a few weeks, when you do see the 6th of August version of me on YouTube, I will be better than that then as well. So I keep on getting better. Literally two weeks, I turned from an amateur two weeks ago to very experienced with regards to video editing. So in another two weeks, I'm gonna look back at myself today and think again, that person was completely amateur. That's the way it goes. When this knowledge gap plateaus, it's going up at an extremely quick rate at the moment. Eventually it will plateau and the knowledge that I need to gain will start to die down. But right now it just keeps going so fast. The amount of knowledge of creating videos, interesting videos on YouTube. The lessons that I learned from the vidIQ app, the, those videos, when I first started learning those lessons over the past two weeks, the video, the first video that I created on that starts this week at the end of this week. So I anticipate that these analytics will change because my knowledge is getting better. And I will be filming videos that are more in demand for you, the viewers, from now on. So keep watching those videos, like and subscribe, leave any comments in the comment section below. If you are seeing any schoolboy errors that I am doing, then please let me know in the comments below. I just want to keep improving. The knowledge I've gained from that vidIQ app, the knowledge I've gained from them will be implemented in the videos starting from today. So the next video that is coming out at the end of the week on Thursday is the first video that, that has had influence from the vidIQ app. So going forward, I'm going to be creating much more relevant content to you and using the vidIQ app to make those videos. And even then, once that first video comes out, I do expect those videos are going to take some time to create some momentum. So I started learning vidIQ two weeks ago. The first video coming is coming out this Thursday, and I do not expect it to build any momentum for another month or two months or something like that. When it comes to YouTube, you learn something now and you do not see the benefit straight away. It's a lagging indicator. You learn now, you build your knowledge now, and the benefits of that progress come later down the line. So if you are feeling that anxiety and think maybe you're not good enough, this is why, because you're not seeing instant results, but this is not an instant result game. This is a you see results two or three months down the line type game. So keep going. Again, if you are interested and you're doing the same thing as me, keep going. You're one inch from goal. It just takes one moment, one bit of luck to strike lucky in this game. So I look forward to the analytics next week. I'm really hopeful that the analytics next week will increase, that I will get more subscribers than what we've had over the last week. The next video coming out for me personally is a gem. I was very happy filming it. I enjoyed the research and I enjoyed the editing and it's coming out and I feel very confident in this video and I think it's a very good video. So please hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified as soon as that video comes out. If you like the idea of following my journey on YouTube, my road to monetization, you're probably interested in seeing where I started from. So if you're interested in seeing that, I've got a whole playlist. I put weekly updates from the very first video on my road to monetization. So click on this playlist right here and watch all the videos from the very beginning on my road to monetization on YouTube.